Welcome to Get Your Popcorn Ready Podcast. We have another great episode, and we're hosting this thing right here with my next guy. Hatchy Hatch is in the building, talking a little football today. Not yeah. football, but foot football. Ball. We have LA Galaxy newly signed midfielder Raheem the Dream Edwards. The Dream. Oh, she got a nickname already? Yep, You're too young to have a nickname, man. That's what I'm thinking. Well, that's what they call me. That's what they call me. The Raheem okay. the Dream. First Raheem of all, I didn't really know much about him, so I got the bio, and I'm like, okay, we're doing a soccer guy. Yep. And I <laughs> First saw the, one, congratulations for a soccer guy. Okay, okay. Uh-huh. Then I saw the name Raheem Edwards. I'm like, oh, he's black. <laughs> He's black. <laughs> right, he, I'm, 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 I'm expecting some guy to come in here, you know, no. looking like David Beckham, or, you know, some of these other guys, you know what I mean? But when I saw that name, Raheem, I'm like, oh, he's a brother. He's a brother. <laughs> he's a brother. But you ain't American, you're Canadian, so is that a difference? Oh, don't do me like that. <laughs> don't do me like he, that. You might be French, you know what I'm saying? No, nah, no, nah, from okay. Toronto. All right, from Toronto. They okay. basically say Toronto is a part of America. That's yeah, what they say. I it's love really, it's really south of. Of Ontario, which is right, the culture there. I mean, I've been in Toronto, played Beautiful in Buffalo, city. and then we played some games in Toronto. Exactly. So, I mean, I'm very familiar. I go to some of the Raptors games. Mm-hmm. So it's, it was so fitting when I played in Buffalo, and then we had a game there. So they were trying to obviously market, you know, football, yep. inter- do international. So it was like T O N T O, because that's yeah. what T-O-N-T-O. T-O-N-T-O. Yep. So, yep. Yep. so yep. man, I tell us that. a little bit about really your position, because I'm ignorant. I need, I need soccer. I need. Football mm-hmm. for dummies. One on one. I need football that. Football one on one. Because I don't really know anything outside of goalie. You know what I mean? I really, <laughs> so, I really don't. So, so you midfield, yeah. Tell us what midfielder, the midfielder. Tell what's... us what midfielder is, and like, you know, what, what? How do you just discover that you're a soccer player, and then your position? Um, yeah, that's that's a good question. I, like, how you just figure out your position? But I think it's it's more to your qualities and your technique that stand out, where your position is basically based on. But yeah, being a midfielder could be anywhere in between. Let's say we play a, a position like 4-4-2. Four, four, There's four defenders, four midfielders, and you could call these guys wing players because they're, they're out in the wide, wide space. And there's two attackers. These are your strikers. Okay. So a midfielder could be the center midfielder, or you could be an outside midfielder, left midfielder, right midfielder. I'm usually a left midfielder. But this season I'm playing left back, which is a part of the back four, which is the, the, the basically the defense. And I'm the left side of it, the, the very left side, the outside left back. So I'm the left back this season. But I, I'm usually marketed as a midfielder, which is left midfielder. I used to play wing as well, which could be this, this person. This person could drag out and become a winger. And I used to be a winger. So that's how I try to explain it. I try to explain it with pictures and, there you, you know. Go. Makes it easier little, for little people to understand. A little illustration for yeah. us. Yeah. Okay. You know? Oh, wow. Yeah. So, yeah. So, that's a midfielder, but this season I'm playing left back. So, I'm a defender this season. Oh, okay. Wow. That's yeah. a lot of popcorn, candles, and water. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah. Just make it what I can make yeah. it do, yeah. you know? I'm, I'm going to take the wine. I'm going to go with <laughs> I'm going to go to the wine. Yeah. Take the midfielder. All right. So, again, so you, but before I got to the Galaxy, you were already here in LA, right? Yeah. With the I other was. LA team. Yeah. Um, so, again, how'd that transition go from, you know, basically the same city, but different teams, right? Different styles and anything like that? Um. So, so the thing was, the reason I came, I stayed in LA was because my coach now that I play for now um, was my coach back in my first year when I played uh, in Toronto for TFC. That was my first season back in 2017. So, wow. okay. my deci- I was a free, ag- free agent this offseason, and my decision was based upon reconnecting back with my old coach because I think my old coach, me and him, familiarity. Exactly. And after mm-hmm. re- and I learned my footballing from him. So me and him share the same ideas of how football is played right, and how right. we should play it, blah, blah, blah. So it was a perfect connection that I was in also in LA as well. So the, tr- the transition has been very, very smooth. Um, it's familiarity, as you said, so right. I know what I'm getting into. I know what to do. And it's okay so it's, to say it's, you came here to L.A. because it's warmer weather. Hey, I, I was about to get to that. Live <laughs> camera action. There's women out here. Go give me all this coach familiarity. <laughs> B.S. I want to stay in L.A. Yeah, you know what it is. No, but Canadians, man, can I, Canada has some most beautiful women. Oh, my gosh. That's what I hear all the time. Woo! Yes. man especially in toronto right yes yes so let's yeah. let's stay on subject stay on subject yeah, exactly. let's stay on subject stay stay yeah so yeah so so familiarity um was it what is it about your coach you know that obviously like I said you, sh- you said you share some of the same ideas techniques things of that nature what is it about him per yeah. se 
per se. And he's so he's so technical and like detailed oriented to the game and what the game needs in order to, you know, let's say win or unbalance an opposition and, you know, exploit something in an opposition. And he's so like he he he's above and be he goes above and beyond, but in a simple way to, you know, teach our our team and whatever how to play through the system that we have and whatnot and how to so he's very thoughtful. So that's for me, that's something that, you know, I appreciate obviously of him um um for him, like I appreciate of him because he's he's very thoughtful in the game. So he makes the game very fluent and very easy to understand in a way, but also very, very technical in a sense. Right. So we're going back to your pop four four two. Yeah, 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 yeah your four four two. So you as a you know, you're playing left, left back, back. Yeah. But you play ideally midfield or you're usually a winger. Exactly. Right. So is it because of your versatility that you're able to play left back 100%. and middle? Yes. Um hundred percent. One of those guys. Yeah. Like I, I'm just trying to figure out like is, is that a lot of action? Do you just do you play a lot? Do you get a lot of balls oh, your I way. Know, yeah, I know you're. I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. So, we're, I'm an attacking left back. I forgot need need to say. I okay. To say. So I get up and down the whole flank. Oh God, your lungs. Are... <laughs> you run. You run all. I right? run a lot. I run a lot. But this, this, you know, I love it. Obviously, like. Yeah, you don't like get that. tired I, of running. I just want to play. I compete. You know, competing, man. You just want to compete. Just wanna right? just I, I, I want to compete too, but I don't know if I can run all day. <laughs> I like to compete too, but no. man. Nah, you get used to it. If you play soccer, you get used to it. And then man. You, yeah, you, yeah, you can get conditioned. I that, took sure. one little soccer class when I was in college, bro. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so much running. I'm, I, it discouraged me. I'm like, there's no way I can play this sport. There's too much running. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. But it's like for me, as. For me, I've been doing it for what, like eight, seven years now. For me, it's normal. Like I don't even think of it as a lot per se, but as to a normal athlete or not even a normal athlete, someone that's trying to learn the the game the way I play. Yeah, it's a lot of running. It's it is. It's a lot of running. What do you do for your conditioning though? What, okay. what do you do for your conditioning to get ready for the season? Since it's so much. All right. Do you, you out ever, there running thirty miles a do day? Do you ever get out of shape? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> do you ever get out of shape? Because this is something like with soccer. That's that's part of. That's a vital part of. The, the sport yeah, is run. conditioning your endurance. Yeah. So there's there's two things. There's match fitness and there's, are you saying shape? Mm -hmm. Let's say I'm playing in season now mm -hmm. and I get injured and I'm out for two weeks. I'm not match fit no more. I'm not ready to play a game oh, off jump. So it. I condition myself and I do more running to get to match fitness. You oh, get what I'm saying? Right. So, so I'm not in football. I'm not like. Game, match, game, game, shit. Exactly. Yeah. I'm not in game, game, not game, round, 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 not game, game tuned in, in terms of match. your running and your numbers and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Time gotcha. to be match fit. You know what I'm gotcha. saying? So, gotcha. like, you gotcha. can get match fit and you could be fit, but it's like, get exactly. To that point. Right. Okay, exactly. Cool. So, if you're injured, you have to progress. So, in the off season, you lose, like, if you don't do nothing, let's say, you're going to lose the, You're going to lose something. So, like, you could slowly condition yourself. Like, this week, I'm running four miles on this run and then slowly condition more and more and more and grow. Your, you know, your conditioning up towards uh, you, preseason where you're you ready to go. You lost me with the just the four miles. You lost me. That doesn't have to be. I'm just saying numbers. You oh, know. just numbers. Just four numbers. Miles. Oh, yeah, God. just numbers. Yeah, right. So you say uh, you're um, attacking. You're attacking. Yeah, I'm attacking left, left back. back. Yeah, left defender. So, so, give me a describe kind of like what that means. Attacking left back. So let's say we have the ball and we're in possession of the ball. Let's say the ball is here with one of our, one of one of our two inside midfielders. Right, yeah, midfielders. those guys are running around. And they're playing and after let's say our like the two strikers up top whatever. Mm -hmm. And after this is uh hold on, one of these are the right back. This is the right back. Mm -hmm. And this is the next a wide midfielder, but you could print them out right. here. It could be a winger too. Exactly. Like you could have your 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 left midfielder tucked in while I go up and down. So that gives me a lane to go. And you can combine with your left midfielder and stuff like that. So that's what an attacking left back is usually. But nowadays, that's what everyone plays. Like there's a lot of attacking left backs. Back in the day, it wasn't, left backs didn't really bomb on, but like we used to call bomb on, like this right. run down the yeah. touchline. So are you guys this conservative. guy, and you, are you interchangeable? Is yes, it like can be interchangeable. Strategic, like game yes, play or whatever? exactly, exactly. Ah, I'm learning soccer. I'm learning soccer, yeah, see? Hey, you're, you're, learning. you're getting it naturally, yeah. though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> football. Football, yeah, nice. football, nice. yeah. Okay, that's what's that's up. Fun. So again, so this is you now, right? So when you started again, you only went to college for like one year, right? Which yes. Is, so at 18, 19, you're a professional athlete, which 
which is crazy to us. Yeah. Right. But like now, did you start out in one specific area and you were you got great at that and that's how you became versatile now? Or you were always this guy that could play any position? So back so prior to back when I was eight, like before I was 18, when I was like younger, like growing up, I usually played like all over the pitch because I was just like a really good player. So that helps a lot, obviously, with versatility because you played it when you were younger. But but yeah, when I was in sh when I was 18, 19, I was signed as like a winger. Mm -hmm. So I was more like, you know, get the ball higher up the field. Like a left back, I get the ball over like here at the back, but like a winger gets the ball higher up the pitch where you're more dangerous. Mm -hmm. And I would use, like try to like attack players and, you know, beat them 1v1 and stuff like that. So that helps obviously when I'm attacking left back, because mm -hmm. when I get the ball up high on the pitch, I'm familiar with that because I was a winger. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Now, when you were in college, right, you were in college playing soccer. Right? Yes. And then you get the contract. But how did that go over with mom or the family saying, I'm leaving college to go play pro? I know it's kind of normal in your sport, but, you know, still saying, mom, I'm about to leave to go play pro ball. Like, that's got to be some type of conversation. Yeah, that's yeah, that's that's different. That, and it's especially it's different over there in Europe. That's like more common and more known. Like they right. take football right. more serious than they do school over there. Right. Over here is school oriented right. school based education first right? education first and my mom was the exact same way so but when she found out that i had a chance to fulfill my dream she was all for it That's she was awesome. just like she was just conscious of like what i do how i carry myself and how i act and you know so it was just mom being the just being mom so awesome. it, it, it was good like my mom was cool with it so it was perfect so right. your mom's still in She's still in Toronto. Toronto? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she yeah. watched a lot. She watches all oh, the games. Oh, yeah. Game. She watches all the games, critiques every game. She always has this, like, if I do good, she wants me to do better. She pushes right. me. So it's, it's right. good. It's, it's your mom just watching over you, you know? She, she, has, yeah, she has my back. Right. So how old were you when you first started soccer? Playing, I was probably like four or five years wow, old. Wow, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the, so the youngest the youngest player, I think he just, just signed, was it Maximo Carrizo? Like... He was, he's 14, if I don't know. Oh, wow. In yes. New York. Like, how do you just become, like, at 14, yeah. like... Yeah, how are you going to let a 14-year-old score on you? Right, You're yeah, a yeah. grown <laughs> dog. That's, that's what, what I'm saying. thinking. That's what I'm saying. So I think, yeah, that, I think if somebody do some research, but I think it's Maximo Carrizo or something like that. He's 14. He played for New York, and I just saw this. Yeah, like, he's probably just, young, yeah. He's yeah, just, yeah, he's yeah, young, and he's a mid, midfielder. Okay. The youngest 14-year-old to sign, I guess, a contract. Like... Like you said, it's grown adults. Like, right. how how does that happen? It's it, like it's almost like with us in football. Like, there's no way no 14 year old can come there's out. There's no way an 18 year old can come out. Right, but then it's like in some sports, like basketball, there's the 18 year old, yeah. 19 year old that can play and have the skill set to really dominate or play at that at yeah. that at that level. Yeah. How does a 14 year old? How does that boy, happen? little yeah. boy? Is this he's probably very like. If you're young, that young, I, I believe if you're that young and you get signed, you have something really, really special about you and you're an investment for the future. Mm. Okay, that's okay. What you're not, so you're not, saying it's not, not about him being good at 14. He is good at 14. Don't get me There's wrong. He is very good at 14. But the evaluation, the like, potential. Ex exactly. So like okay. they, they get them right away and it's like, we see potential in you to be something very, very, very good. So we're investing in you. Okay. And he's probably a very, very, very good player. I've never seen him before, but he's probably a very, very good right. player. To be the youngest player in MLS history, right. yeah. as you said, to yeah. get signed, you must right. be. You must. And be he, plays, he plays. He plays a position that you play. So yeah, what is it? Yeah. What is it about your skill set that makes you so unique? Well, obviously, you 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 came back. You signed back here. Obviously, we know really why you signed in LA. But you, we, we're, we're going to go with what you said. That there was some familiarity with your coach <laughs> and with the weather <laughs> and the weather. No, but what is it? No, seriously, what is it about your skill set? What what makes you you, Raheem? You know what I mean? To, especially to have and coin. I mean, not coin, but don the name Raheem the Dream. Like you got to live up to those expectations and obviously yeah. for them to obviously like I said you can have the familiarity and comfort with coaching but them to sign you as well yeah I think um what makes me Raheem is like my my I'm 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 able to make the make a big difference in the game whether that's a pass or maybe that's a dribble or maybe that's a pass that leads to a next pass I think I'm really really a difference maker right I, I can make something happen I'm very very assertive very very attacking based player that wants to make stuff happen, but I'm also very good. I can make a very good pass or, you know, cross a very good ball. So I think I could hurt teams in different ways. And right. I think that's that's what makes me a difference maker. Mm -hmm. And that's what 
I think that's what I'm known for. I think. So like I call him a shooting point guard, right? You can shoot it, you can dribble, you can pass. Like you, it yeah. sounds like you more of a passer though, because I'm more of a passer. Right. I'm being, I'm being honest. Guard, like, right. You gotta be honest with you. I'm more of a yeah. passer, Your but I can still also a, shoot those. Right. 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 And you're setting position, up yeah. the whole offense and exactly. doing all those things. Yeah. Right. So you're more of a facilitator. Yeah. You know. So exactly. So, so, exactly. so how has the game changed today versus you know? Because I don't really know. I'm like, like you said. You just with your explanation of saying like now back in the day y'all used to be the, here. yeah they wouldn't go out as far yeah back in the, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so how has a game changed you know uh, so our audience can understand you know and how you playing it today versus back then yeah back then I think it was more of a tactical chess match in terms of the ball where like guys wouldn't run as much they'd be together as a team and move together as a team as a sh- like here like we still do it as well but now i think nowadays it's more you have to be it's more physically demanding more more running more mm-hmm. atta- like more, more pressing aggressive, more aggressive more, approach. yeah approach right both attacking wise and defending wise you have to like b- back in the day your, your striker didn't really defend it wasn't really about your, your striker defending nowadays your, your first line of defense is your striker striker so wow. now it's okay. okay exactly so okay. now it's more like you know it's just more hardcore i i, I call it more hardcore it's just more everybody's like, involved everyone's yeah. involved so it's like you got to be good with your feet you also have to know how to defend it's not just oh you're just an attacking player like maybe if you're the you're the, you're the number 10 position which is like i didn't show you guys that that's a free roll Maybe if you're a special player like Messi, where you don't have to defend. Like you're a roamer, <laughs> but you just get to roam and do. You just whatever. get to roam and do whatever you and whatever you want. But obviously, you still have to defend. But like, right. there's mm-hmm. some special players in the world that are like out of this world, like Messi, whatever. Like, okay, he's yeah, not like CR7. Yeah, and, but they still, defend, they, still they still defend though. They still defend. They still defend though, because right, so, right. it's important. Like, so it's now it's really demanding both both wide, both ways, attacking and defensive. So right. yeah. I got to see uh, see Neymar. Mm. Um, I got to see him for the first time. I never really gone to a soccer match and just to, like I said, be down on the on the field. Mm-hmm. Oh, you probably seen so much flair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, he's was, an entertainer. I got the entertainer. When yeah, he plays, yeah, it was, it was so crazy. Really? How they, man, it's crazy how engaged. He's so entertaining. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's wow. like he's like he's like AI. He's like AI. Really, the, everything's yeah. a flashy flash. Play. Yeah, yeah. He's wow. flash flair. Yeah. But you, you gotta, I mean, you enjoy watching him. Yeah. You gotta have confidence, obviously, to, oh, yeah, to do yeah, that yeah. and still you have have, be, yeah. you know, you know, play within the confines of the game and still be able to f- perform. So yeah, it's like he's like sure. an entertainer, but still he's still do fulfilling his his, his duty and his right. and his task. Yeah, right, that's right. amazing. Yeah, man. So what about Ronaldo? What makes him so? His so mentality, like, his mentality. Ronaldo is uh, he is so driven, like he. He he will do whatever it takes to to you know to be the best yeah. to score goals to like his so mentality. So who are your, some of your your guys that you feel like I guess you looked up to and you maybe have modeled your game after? Um, not per se model my game, but there's guys I I definitely looked up to. I'm, I was more the 2000 era because I'm a 95. I was more the 2000 era, like old 2000, like late 2000, like 2000, like two, three. Mm-hmm. So I was more like Terry Henry, Rude Van Nistelrooy. Um, guys like that, like from okay. the Premier, from the Premier League, because that's all I could watch back in, in Canada, this, okay, the Premier gotcha. League or the Italian mm-hmm. League. So guys like Tati and stuff like that. So yeah, those guys were guys I I, I grew up watching and, and admired for sure. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's like at that time, like when you're modeling your game, who like said, "Yo, this kid can play." Though when was that? Like 12, 13, You start figuring out you were good, or right. coaches started yeah, saying. That's a good this. question. Yeah, because it, it depends. Like it, so like there's rep soccer starts at under 10 that's when it starts to get competitive you know competitive what I mean? like, that's like when so the best. aau soccer we probably exactly okay. basically like aau mm-hmm. you probably start learning like do you mean good as in like oh i could probably be next this. level next level yeah. mm-hmm. some people could could know at a young age as i said like the 14 like year the 14 old, like right. this kid has mm-hmm. something special he's right. going to be a special player but like for me it was generally when i when i turned like 16 17 i okay. thought like Maybe I could. I'm pretty good. Better take, than everybody else around me. Yeah, better than most of the everyone around me so far. But there's other people when I was 16 and 17. I need to remind you, I was like playing club soccer, but there's guys that I know that are 16, 17 that were playing professionally. Professional, oh, right, right. They're ready with 13 contracts. So wow. for me, it was like, yeah, I'm ready to take my next step. So yeah. sometimes my next step is not your next step. Your next right, step is re- you already been, right. you know what I mean? So like, it's just all your timing. But yeah, for me, it was like when I was 16, 17. Okay. Yes, yeah. Now again, at that time, like, what would was there any moment like maybe you made a shot or made a pass on somebody like, yo, yeah, I'm pretty good at this thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, what was that? 
moment in your career as an athletic play. Yeah, yeah, every, I think everybody has like that aha, that aha, aha moment, moment. That, 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 aha that wow, that yeah. wow moment. That's a good question. Yo, you asked some good yeah, questions. Like, like you know, because everybody, everybody can't do. Get your everybody podcast, can't get to the podcast, podcast, man. I mean, <laughs> nobody does facts. it like we do it. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, man, you, you came to the right show today. I came to the right show. <laughs> I would say my aha moment. I think it was when I went to, it's probably when I was 17, 18, maybe, just prior to going to college. I think I was in I was uh, in nationals. This is like so the best in Canada. Like you, so there's not states. We have provinces. Obviously, we have provinces, ten provinces right, right. and three territories. So thirteen right. states. Let's right, say for right. you guys to understand. So each state, the best of their each state comes and they all like an all star. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And you all, and you face off to see who the best is. And I think I was, I became in second place. We ended up losing in the finals, but I was leading goal scorer of that whole thing of that whole tournament. Okay. Wow, so wow. that was like kind of my like. Aha uh -huh, okay. moment. Because okay. I've never I've never faced everyone right. together. Right. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Because now this you, you get soccer. to yeah, 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 you get to really um see you know, challenge yeah, you get to all see, of Canada. You get to get a taste right, of who exactly. the best is in all of Canada and need to say like, oh I, I only see Ontario because this is my province. I only see Ontario. I don't really get to see Vancouver. Right. And sometimes Montreal. you get a false sense of who like what kind of talent and skills that you have because you only play in that area. In this area. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Now you you're you're able to really kinda explore and really kinda, you know, have your, you know, really kinda your your skill set against my skill set. You exactly. Apples like, versus apples yeah. versus everybody. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm sure I'm sure we would have asked your mom what your aha moment is. She I'm pretty sure. Have a different story. She, yeah, she may have a oh, she <laughs> probably I wonder what she would say. No, that would be yeah, I, I'm yeah. gonna ask her. I'm yeah. asking. You say, Mom, when, when did you just think I was good? When did right, you know I was exactly, really good? Yeah. Than all the other kids. Yeah, because usually they kind of see it before we see it. You yeah. Know what I mean, typically. Yeah, typically. Yeah. 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 That'd be a good. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder. That's a good question. So again, so again, you're leaving. You're leaving college. You're right to go play professional. Yeah. Uh, and like that moment, was it? You, you were scared. You were ready. You were. And it was you know at that point. What was the thing that you were feeling to go, okay, I'm about to leave at 18, 19 years old to go play pro ball. Like what was going through, you know, your mind at that, at that point? Yeah, that point it was kind of like, I was kind of nervous, obviously, because it's like, yeah, I'm about to play at a higher standard. Yeah. So when I train, I'm about to see like bigger names and people that are, you know, really, really good at football. So the first thought was like, yeah, I'm kind of nervous in the sense of I don't want to, you know, underperform. And, you know, so that for me, that was the first point. And after... The next thing was just like, just how cool it would be, you know, just to be a professional football player, something that you dreamed of, obviously, all your right, whole life. Right. So like, basking in that moment and like realizing that, yeah, you're you're a professional player, like that's like, that that was that was it for me. I was more into that moment than the nervous no moment. So Good. that's why I thought like when I played, it helped me more because I wasn't nervous. I was yeah. happy to be there and just wanted to prove myself. You know, it was just right. that mentality. Yeah, some people can't handle that moment. Yeah, some no, no, it's true. Yeah, 100%, you know 100%. Percent. People cannot, yeah, some people cannot. So have sure. you had the moment going against the, the Neymars of the world? You're like, yo, this is this is why he's the best. Like, do you have any of that? Has that happened yet? Or is it going to happen in the future? Or um, it's gonna, I think it's more going to happen in the future. But in this league and, and players that I played with, mm -hmm. yeah, I've seen some players that are real. I played with some now, who's, players that who's are Who's the Kobe Bryant? Yeah, like who are some of the top against. guys in a league that, like I said, we may not know, but we, maybe yeah. the name may ring a bell. Uh, there's Carlos Vela. Carlos Vela? Of uh, LAFC. He, he plays for the... LAFC, my LAFC, old yeah, my LAFC, team. right? Yeah, so and, there's, a, and here, there's Chicharito. Here. Obviously, you guys know Chicharito. Come on. Okay. Right, he used right. to play for Man United. He plays with me now. He's an incredible guy. That's my guy right there. He is... Mentally driven as well. That's a guy that like ment mentality rises. He's right there with Ronaldo. Right. But um, yeah, now, there's all guys. All these guys like the same size as you as well. They, no, they're... some guys are some guys are like like what, what do you mean by size? Like height, 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 height again, No, no, it's different. It's all different. Like okay. I like these guys. I, I named yeah, they are, which is funny enough. They but vary they are, in height. They are, they, but they vary in height. Right. But yeah, exactly. They vary in height. But those those are some guys. There's also um. There's guys that you know, you, you guys know of. You know Zlatan Ibrahimovic. He came here to MLS. You know David Beckham was here. At, David, you know, yeah, Landon course, Donovan. Yeah. Exactly. Right? So there's guys like Those that guys, that, that came yeah. back. So I played like Bash and Schweinsteiger in Chicago Fire. Okay. He was, okay. What a guy, cool guy. Right. Obviously, um. So yeah, there's guys like that that always come back in the league. But as I said before, Carlos, yeah. Carlos Vela, and Chicharito. Yeah, right. Those are guys that are. 
Cause yeah. Because yeah. yeah. it's like, uh, you know, like soccer is the fastest growing professional sport in America, right? Right. And not, a lot of, uh, like, not a, not a lot of Americans really know about Not soccer. a lot. No, not a lot. Yeah, for right. sure. Oh, yeah, for sure. Especially like yeah. black athletes. Exactly. That's like something we don't really do. You know, mm-hmm. right? And then, like I said, it's not even in the school systems either. Like, we don't right. have a it's lot AAU. of... Right, it's AAU. It's not a lot of soccer AAU. programs. Exactly. Um, what do you think is needed for more exposure, you know, for even just, you know, uh, athletes of color to play in a sport uh, such as international as, as, as soccer? Representation. We just got to, uh, like, we, we, we got to make an infrastructure where, you know, it's accessible to everyone. Football is accessible. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't, it's not a money grab or a money scheme. Right. Soccer is expensive for soccer's kids. Expensive. Soccer is expensive. That's why a lot of expensive. kids don't play soccer. Yeah, but if you're in the academy, whatever, usually, you know, it's all paid for, whatever. But, like, other than that, you have to pay out of pocket to play. Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's pretty hard. But, like, making an infrastructure where it's, it, c- it could be in school. It could be, so, you know, right. where it's just free and it's just accessible. And, you know, representation, as I said before, they need to see people like me playing. Right, right, Like, right. you need to see brothers that, you know, that you can relate, yeah, like, relate, I mean, relate to, for sure. To, like, hockey. I mean, I didn't really know a whole lot of black people, you know, that play. play. I, I they P- don't. And P.K. Subin, <laughs> you know, Canadian, right? Yeah, but you'd be, you'd be surprised. Black people were playing hockey long before. Right, like, we just didn't right, see it. We just, we just didn't see it. It wasn't not, publicized. Yeah. Right, it's yeah. not a, yes. Representation, yeah. as I'm saying, we're not right. being publicized and stuff like that. So I, I think that the only way the soccer becomes bigger in the United States, number one, of course, if the parents start looking at the contracts, because these soccer players are getting four hundred million dollars, which these parents don't understand. Not all of them. But not, not but, all. No, but you know, but we look at LeBron and we say, oh my, but that's not that's nothing compared to soccer. And not all NBA guys get paid. But, but from the parent and saying, I'm gonna put my kid in the NBA, you know, at 12, 13, I'm gonna make this this run to the NBA, it's because LeBron's getting 80 million. 80 million is nothing compared to 400, right? So number one is the education on you can make money in soccer. Number two, it's going to be that uh, Serena Williams or that Shaquille O'Neal of soccer. Who's going to be the 6'4", yeah, 225, yeah. but still agile enough to play like Tyreek Hill to yeah. play soccer? It's if it, coming, if but, it can happen, but it I've can never happen seen it. You know sure, what I'm saying? Right. Now, I think when you guys get that dude who's right. going to change the... Extend the sport, if you will. I know what I you're think saying. Then yeah. It'll, I, yeah, I think yeah, you, you, yeah, I think what he said. Number one was representation. I think once we get someone in the sport that looks like us, and really more contrib- yeah. right, attributing and contributing and, and starting to really make a name, and making that type of money, then I think maybe slowly but surely they will start gravitating yeah. to. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it has to be in MLS too. I think it has to be in America, a place where you you know you can relate to. Like, right. there's obviously black guys obviously over in Europe that are that are household names. Absolutely. Like Thierry Henry, right. and he right. came here to, to New York too. Is this representation? Soccer has to be displayed through TV, through media. Like, is this is this like I feel like it was before prior. Now it's starting to kick on, but before I think prior it was just like I think a kind I'm, of a castaway, a throwaway. It wasn't taken right. serious, but now I think. It's taken serious now because World Cup is coming now too. Your, right, you your know, country's think, doing well too. My country's doing well. Is it's as I said, World Cup is the biggest sporting world, event in, in the, the world. world. Everybody the world. watching. Oh my gosh! When that I started goes, watching, oh, I, mean, I still don't know what I'm watching, but, but I started it, watching. You know when it's <laughs> you know when it's on when it's World Cup season because everybody, everybody is watching. Drive, drive by Man, all TVs. Is yes, on. and I think what was admirable, I think you know, with, with with what David Beckham did is really. Transition and come and play. And he sees the one, yeah, he's the gatekeeper. He's the one that started the, you right, know, he's like, so the like a pioneer. Trend yeah, like where, he the, where, came the, where the superstars from Europe come yeah, over. Come over to, come to over the States. To, and we paid like, pay them a boo, boatload of money, yeah. too. Yep. Um, it was worth it in the end. Right, right. exactly. He kicked in the door, right? Right. Because yeah. yeah. look at, you know, now, like I said, look at where we are, it's like, versus like what? Eight, ten, ten years ago. Even ten years ten, ago. Ten, ten yeah, years how crazy ago, is that? Even that. ten years ago. You're right, exactly. Look how far we came. Yeah, MLS yeah. is growing. The, the, the game of football or right. soccer to you guys yeah, yeah, is right. growing in America. It's, right. it's growing and it's it's only going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, when you have to try out for the World Cup team, that's not here for the, Even though you play here, it's not for the United States team. It'll be for Canada, right? Yeah, even though I play the league. doesn't matter the league you play in. Right. Like, it, it, yeah, it doesn't matter the league you play in. They'll call on you based on your performance and if they need you. It doesn't matter where you play. You, know, you understand what I'm saying? Really? So we can have Europeans play on, on Canada. American or Canada? Are, are, if, they're, if they're, yeah, if they're U.S. descent, if they're from, if they're from U.S. All right. So like your, your, your U.S. team has players that are, that are playing European Yeah, they're playing football. over there. We bring them back. So, but for you, where you have I'm to Canadian. play. I'm Canadian. You have to play on the Canadian world 
So yeah, you, can you it, won't play on the I US can't team. play the U.S. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 exactly. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. Are you going to play on the World Cup team, or do you have I'm, to try I'm pushing, it? Yeah, pushing? I'm, you're pushing towards it. I'm, I'm close. Now, who pushes your, your agent? Kevin Weinrich, get him on the World Cup <laughs> team. Stop playing. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, you just have to keep pushing, but, yeah. World Cup is uh, coming up what November, so yeah, it's, it's, it's crunch time. So you know, so how, what's perform. the criteria to, to to play World Cup? Yeah. And oh, like yeah. what's the criteria? So there's uh there's a group of, I think it's eight teams, eight teams, okay. and only three qualify, top three qualify, and the fourth spot is a uh, a one and done game against a next a next continent. I think Asia okay. maybe or somewhere over okay. there. Or okay. the Pacific, or Asia, or something like that. So the top three teams make it, and the fourth spot. And after the rest of the teams don't make it to, to the World Cup, to the, to the World Cup. So if you end up being top three, you automatically make it to the World Cup. Okay. If you're the fourth team, you got to play one more game to qualify to qualify to the World Cup. But okay, cool. there's a process before that to get to the octagon. But I don't know too too much. Right, right, right. So I don't want to get into it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what's yeah. the criteria as a player, like for you? you For me to get called yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like goals, so, like you need so many goals, so many assists. It depends, yeah. You just have to, yeah, goals, assists, help. Okay. Just playing good, just, you know, just. Does your peers nominate yeah. you? Does, Does the vote? coaches? I think they talk, they, yeah, like I think the Canadian coaches or whatever, the American coaches talk, talk to your head coach or whatever about gotcha. you, blah, blah, blah. But it's more say your play. How are, how are you playing? Right, like, are right, you playing yeah. good? Your are you in form right now? <laughs> Or like you know, like you're the best of the week for this week. Like you've been best of the week for this long. Like you've been killing it. You probably get called up because you're in form and you're ready to right, go. You know, right, gotcha. stuff like that. There's, there's different variables and whatever. It's all different. It's not all like cookie cutter. Yeah, because exactly. like ours is cookie cutter. It's, it's right, numbers, right. right? If you have exactly, exactly, 20 yeah. touchdowns in a season, right. you go into the Pro Bowl. Gotcha, like that's yeah, it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It kind of works like that too for soccer. Like if you score 20 goals in a season, you're going. You're going. You're you got a good season. Guys. Yeah, you right, got a top right. guy. You, you okay. got a good season for sure. So what's 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 success for you for for Raheem? Like what what will be at the end all? Or what is your 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 best or your biggest goal? My biggest goal. Ah, that's a good question. Not ball in the goal, but your biggest goal. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. 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 Um, my biggest goal. For soccer, yeah, I mean, because I mean, the like, biggest goal I think you could, you could honestly like achieve for me is playing in the World Cup. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, what do you want to accomplish? I want to like, play okay, you, you're, you, you're content. Like, so you, you're I gonna play, play yeah, a play number of Cup. years, and you're success. You're gonna make a lot of money as you play. What's gonna make you feel very successful? Like, like you said, is the World Cup. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, is that equivalent to the Super Bowl? Yes, that's a, yes, that's 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 the Super Bowl. That's the. Okay, creme gotcha. de la creme, you know. Right, right. So yeah, playing the World Cup, that would be one of them um, championships, man. Just winning. Like, right, right, right. I just want to win, man. Absolutely. I, just, I, I love winning. I'm so competitive, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What's yeah. your drive? What what drives you? What drives you? Just wanting to win, man. That's yeah. what drives. I'm just yeah. a competitor, man. Like I, I grew up like where I grew up. There's a lot of black people where I grew up. Right, yeah. Because yeah, I know gotcha. I know a lot of Americans think Toronto. Uh, there's not a lot of black people right, there. Yeah, where gotcha. I grew up. There, uh, yeah, I've been to Toronto. I play, I, my, I, ha- I play basketball. Like mm-hmm. I, I play basketball. I played more basketball than I played soccer. Because oh, wow. like, I, I just had to. That's where you know I'm from. Where I'm from, I just we had to play basketball. Right. We didn't get to play soccer. We didn't want to play soccer. <laughs> right, right. And you know how they are. They're competitive. We're competitive. Right, yeah. So I got that. I got my my competitiveness from my you know. I was it from your mom or your dad. No, you, is, mm, that's a good question. If you're talking about parents. Yeah, what did you, I what think did you, my mom. My mom, mom is yeah. My mom is fiery. She's I can just tell because when you initially said your mom, like she she critiques you. Yeah. Like yeah. not many moms do that. Like they're connected. Like if they're telling you like, yo, you need to do this yeah. or you didn't do this well or you should have had this yeah, instead, she, of, yeah. instead of just she watching. Always. Right. She exactly. Just watching. She just oh, yeah. watching. Yeah. She's yeah. Not just watching. You, you did she's a good job. Watching. The game is well. Like yo, she seems like she's pretty dialed in. Yeah. She's Shout out to moms. She's dialed in. Yeah. That's awesome. So again, so. Make the World Cup, right? You in there, you're doing your thing. Uh, semi-finals or something. That would be unbelievable. Semi-final, even like what, making it out of the group stage. But like, right. every, obviously the goal is to win it. Right. It's possible. For, with Canada, I think, with my, my, my Canadian national team, it's possible. Right. It's, so, yeah. so I know, again, you, you're, you're, you seem fiery and you turned up too. So what you go do when, you know, you just walk in, there's a, like a ball delay or something and Neymar hit you with one of them elbows. What you go do? The elbows, you got to be smart about it too, though. You I know, but that's the moment. That's the situation. Because now they look bad. They have cameras. They yeah. look oh, back they at it. They look back, everywhere. Yeah, they look what, back what at you, it. But you know, but like, see, like with the play with you guys, like, say someone hits, gets you an extra bump or whatever, you could hit him back. Yeah. Whatever. Like, 
while the play's happening, and and if the ref doesn't catch it, they, they won't throw, throw a flag or whatever. Right, right. They but now it. with soccer, if you hit them, someone, and they like, ah, and the play's all the way over there, mm-hmm. they could be bring it, shoot, they could bring a well, camera why, to you, why like, they, oh, why why you just sit this guy right now, ref, like, yeah. talk to him through the mic, you need to give him a red card. So oh. you can't get away with stuff. Right. Why, 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 why some soccer players be acting like they do? They'll, oh they'll my just God. do that. And they'll it's, like, it's, ah, and they I, I knew that was coming. Like, you know I knew, what I'm saying? I knew that like, was coming. That's what yeah. I want. I can't understand I that. that yeah, that's flopping. Yeah, yeah. why? Who, who's, who's the, why y'all flopping? Who does? It's tactical in a sense. You know what, you know what I'm saying? Okay, because like, you're trying it's, to it's get It's like, you know, when you play basketball and after, like, you you someone's grabbing onto you and after you were like, hey, and you like, make it seem like he did the worst to you to try to get him, instead of a foul, try to give him a technical. Yeah. It's like that. Like sometimes I think they, exa- they exaggerate, exaggerate stuff. They're acting. They're trying to, to get, get them a yellow card or, you know, get them in trouble. So I yeah. think it's, it's more like that. And when, when, when did you flop? When did your first flop? I know you had- First flop? I, I couldn't even remember. I've been- So flop- you don't do that? You're not a flop? No, no, no. I've been flopping since I was like 10. I was- I was <laughs> Give, me, was give me your flop face. Uh, give, me, give, me, give, me, give me a shiver. Give, what's your flop face? It, it depends. It depends on the mood. It depends on how, like, how I like. If I'm really, like, I'm really, I really don't like you. Like, you know, it's all that. It's like, there's a little, like, a little nuance, yeah, nuance yeah. out to it. So give me there's yellow <laughs> cards and red cards. Yellow cards and red cards, yep. So what's the difference? I didn't so know. obviously red card is that you more mean stop yellow, and yellow means slow down? Red is like you're off the pitch, you're, you're gone. You can't play no more. You have to be in the locker room. Yes, locker room, go to that. Yeah, basically, locker room. So, okay, so you're yeah. out the game. So how like, many, yeah. you only can get one of those? No, you can get as many as... as During as, the season, but only one a game. Because or one, you're you out. only get one a game, yes. Because you're one out a game. game. What about because yellow cards? How many yellow cards before you have to go to... Exactly, before it, so two yellow cards, so... Two yellow cards turns to a red, red card. card. So ask two yellow cards have to happen to the play, same player twice. So you have to get a yellow card game. once, yellow card again, then it turns into a red card, then he's out of the game. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm always... I'm a, it, it's, I'm it's, it's like gibberish. <laughs> because again, I'm, I'm always watching... I, 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 I don't watch... I've never watched a full hockey... I mean, soccer. soccer game. <laughs> you see, I'm so... I've never watched a full <laughs> soccer game. But I'm always interested and obviously in how they officiate um you're running and 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 like when you when they kick or they're trying to kick and they get tripped or what have you what 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 constitutes as a uh, i guess what makes a yellow a foul. card a foul yeah, or what have you foul? what makes it a foul it's like it, like obviously if you don't get any of the ball and it's, any, and it's more of the more if the player if you're hitting the player at all to be honest. Or in an, an attempt. Yeah. Is it, what if it looks like an attempt to the ball, but then you get the yeah, player? Yeah, that's what happens. You still get a yellow card. Like, wow. Yeah, it doesn't matter about if it's if it's intentional or deliberate. You okay, know I mean? like, okay. Again, I've, I've watched a couple. I'm trying yeah, to learn. So now, you're trying, trying to now you're piecing sport. it together, right? So, so, right, yeah. So if you don't okay. get the ball, you can, get, you can even get some of the ball, but even if you okay. follow through in a bad fashion, you can still get a yellow card. So, but, so answer right. me this. Riddle me this, okay? So you can't <laughs> score without the ball. Right? You cannot score without the ball. So why in some soccer matches, soon as somebody kicks it to the team, they just kick it back to the other team? What do you mean by that? So again, you're you guys are doing your thing, right? You're at say, the midfield. Yeah. And you just give the ball up, right? And everybody goes back on defense to play defense. I never seen that before. No, no, I got you, it. Like, no, see, no, I, that's not happening, Hatch. You know, no, you, know, you, know, you know what I think you're you're, you're thinking it's about. A, I think, it's not probably how I'm saying it but it's a, you know, I've I think seen what happened, it, maybe obviously. maybe someone was injured and they came off the pitch okay and it was and before prior to it it was let's say so let's say that my okay. no, no, okay. that I got it. No, no, no no I got it I got it I remember it now okay now you remember the goalie had the ball yeah right and he just kicks it far to yeah. the other end Yes, but it, was he trying? To, was he trying to hit someone, or you just did that purpose? I have no idea. Was there someone trying to jump for the ball and hit it, or no? I, I don't know. You but don't I know? know the ball goes all the way to the other end, which okay. now the other team has it. But why would they just give it up? If, yeah. If they can't. I think he was trying to put it in play. Yeah, the long ball maybe. Yeah, he was trying to do a long but ball. But if your guy's not down there, then why is he? Oh, the guy wasn't that. No one was. There's new. nobody from his team down there. Nowhere, nowhere close. That's, I didn't, again, I could be. I'm, but I think he was I don't putting think the, I saw his own Right, but I think their, like that goalie's team, is obviously their team is is on the other side. So I think he was putting it in position or in play for the, the backside. 
yeah. to go score, right? There's no backside. No, this is so weird. Front, about the front, front side. side. I mean the yeah. front side, I yes. meant. Yes. That's exactly. what I meant. Yeah, that's what I think could happen. Yeah, I think that's what you're... you're yeah, I'd be trying to understand. Yeah, it's hard. It could have been anything. Yeah, with football, one-on-one for dummies for us. Yeah, we we those guys. You're learning, though. You guys are learning. Football, one-on-one for dummies. Football, yeah. And, I, and again, another thing I think the what's hurting, if you will, the the bigger contracts in the United States, because again, they're not, uh, you won't see the big contracts, you see the big TV deals, right? But TV hasn't figured out a way how to stop the game of soccer because it's a running clock, mm. right? And commercials have to be shown in order for them to make money. Yeah. So until they start showing those commercials, they can have big money in soccer, which means mm-hmm. there's no big contracts. I think, is that like, how would they stop the game or be able to show commercials during soccer matches? Uh, I think there's different variables for that. Um, let's say for, for instance, they should get out there's more timeouts. There, but there are none. There's no timeouts. There's no, there's really no, there, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm gonna get at right now, where I think there's some games where if it's, if it's like, let's say it's 90 degrees, 95, and it's, you know, they know it's going to be too hot, mm-hmm. there's water breaks you can have, which is like 15 minutes before each half. Each half is 45 minutes, right. so 90 minutes in total of the game. 15 minutes before each half, you get a water break. That could be... Yeah. Well, so once that clock but, but that's, that's, though, that's only if it's that hot. That's right. A that's a rare... That's not all the time. all the time. It's a rare it's not, condition. It's, but it's, it happens sometimes in right. Orlando or somewhere. But once that clock hot. starts, it will not stop. It won't stop. Yeah. And again, so what... But it's, so sometimes there are people are that get injured in the game or whatever, and it's like, right. you know, there's two minutes. They wasted two minutes. But what TV is saying, it's, I need to stop this thing in seven I know, minutes because exactly. I got to show exactly. my million You can't be spontaneous. That's the, that's the problem. They can't be spontaneous yeah. commercial like that. All they can do is probably say... Like, you know, throw a three second, like, hey, this. Yeah. So I, I get what they're saying. So it's hard. So I, I think I'm that's the reason that it's not as it could big be. as it I, I don't know. I don't know entirely. Yeah, it'd be but like it could radio. Be. You know, you throw a read in there, <laughs> a commercial, right. read, yeah. an ad read, like we do. Like we do. And we're back. Like, yeah, I just, yeah, I know. That's what they're doing now. I right. think. Yeah, do ad reads in between. Ad reads, yeah. In between. Honestly, ad reads. Yeah. Nah. All right, man. Right hopefully, we, hopefully, we get a good deal, man. Yeah. The game of soccer needs to it's be coming. pushing this. Yeah, it needs I to be pushed, man. It's, like it's four, coming. They know it's coming. Years. It's like soccer. Jump on it, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. we're going to do whatever we can on Get Your Popcorn Ready podcast mm-hmm. to pump Raheem the dream up. I know, like I said, y'all play out of the Stub Hub or y'all yep. play at Bank or whatever. Yeah, they need help. It used to be called Stub Hub. Sub, yeah, well, yeah. Now it's like, it used to be Exos. It used to be Carson. It's got five. Carson, yeah. I used to go out that rehab out there, so I got to see some of those guys. Yeah. Um, that were training out there. David Beckham was out there when I when he was playing when I was going out there doing rehab. So yeah. it's a nice facility. It's getting nicer. Beautiful. So yeah, I want to definitely come Bank out. Stadium's and, beautiful too. Yeah, 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 really that, that's, that's the one downtown. I played, that's yeah. I played there last year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that's a different that's league, cool. right? No, it's the no, same, same league. Same, same league. Two oh. LA teams. Two, like two LA teams. Oh, gotcha. LA, gotcha. So you know, so LAFC, yeah. right? LAFC. That's LA. gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Give us your give us your top five soccer players. Of all time? Yeah, of all yeah, time. All don't time. have to be current, but of all time, they can go Damn. back. Bro, you ain't even got to put me in there if you don't want He's to. He's definitely not in there. No, you ain't got to put me in if you don't want to. You can put Pele, or you can go to all 2022 people. It don't matter. It's your top five. My top five. Your okay. top five. My favorite five. Your favorite five. I think Messi's in there for sure, obviously. Messi's in there. You know Messi. Why ain't no Messi? Lionel um, Richie Messi. Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo, I think he's unbelievable right. as well. So Messi, Ronaldo. Messi, Ronaldo, I'd put And Lionel out. Messi, he's, he's been playing a long time, right? Yeah. So he's, he's, like, Le, he's like putting up years like LeBron. And, yeah. Is it like LeBron? I, I think. How long is he? How, how long he's played? About thir- 14, 15? 13? Okay. I mean, what's, what's, uh, what's, what's, what's a long career in soccer? 13. 13? 13, 13, so, yeah, 13 say equivalent. Wow. Equivalent, yeah, very, yeah. So him, Ronaldo, Messi, I'd put the old Ronaldo, like CR, CR9, just Ronaldo. Um, also, I would put this guy I really love and I think is really, really good, David Silva. Silva? Okay. Yeah. Hey, man, this is your top yeah. five. Yeah, this is my top five. Can't be wrong. If they want to judge you, tell them to come see me. Can't yeah, rock. tell them to come see T.O. Yeah, come um, see me. And after the, my last one, mm, this, is t- I, yo, this is tough. I'm breaking my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I think in terms of football, who I love, yeah, Iniesta. I think Iniesta is really. Who is that? Iniesta. Iniesta. Yeah. Iniesta. Okay. Spanish. Spanish. Spanish name. Iniesta. Okay. Iniesta. Okay. Andres Iniesta. Okay. Yeah. 
There it is. Man. That's a five by life. Yep. That's awesome, Thank man. you, man. Thanks for coming out. Nah, I appreciate you guys, man. Educating this dummy right here. Absolutely. <laughs> on soccer. Like, soccer 101 for me, dog. Man, we appreciate <laughs> you, man. Come dropping these gems, man. Letting us know about the, the wings, the middle fielders. We appreciate Midfielders, you, all that type of stuff. I just, I, I could be a goalie. No, you can't. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah. You, I think you know where you, you could. He you, can't be. Yeah, a no, no, no. You know so what's the what's the what's what's the age limit for being a goalie? Is there an age limit for being Whatever a goalie? Funny it enough, it's like a little bit late that like you go into your prime as a goalie a little bit later than the normal prime for any outfielder player. Because they're running more, yeah. I, running I, uh, more. Is it because they're running more? Maybe. The goalie's not running as much. A goalie obviously. doesn't really have yeah, to. Yeah, obviously do. they don't run as much. Right. Yes. Yeah, so what like, what, what do they have to run? I've never seen a goalie run. No, they don't run. No, yeah, no, yeah, they no, go they side to side, lateral movement. But but now, but but now they're, they're now they're like they're, they're starting s- to come down the field more because mm-hmm. these back two guys are coming down the field more. Not even coming down the field more. This is how they play. It's just yeah. like nowadays, like it's kind of like a keeper sweeper. Like we're like if it goes over the the fence and you know they're running backwards, this guy will just run out his way and it's so it is a little bit more physical demanding, but it's not obviously like an yeah. outside. Foot, right? So could I be a goalie? Yeah, no, you could right now. Right now. If yeah, only with their hand eye coordination, yeah, possible. No. But you don't you don't like you, a ball you coming know. at you fat. Ah, it's gonna it's nah. gonna hit him right in the face. Nah, you could tell him again. But you could be right if, if, you, if you're in the craft, if you're in the craft, you definitely could be. You have the all yeah, you have because it's like like you said, it's hand hand eye, eye, it's changing level, direction. Yes. So if you learn the skills, a hundred percent you could. How are you gonna learn the skills? This boy is but now, sixty-seven years old. Now, yeah, now, now why are you trying to say I can't? But what level are you talking about? It's sixty-seven. I'm talking about ready. I'm ready. MLS right now. Well, you what? Even score. No, you couldn't even score on me, dog. You couldn't oh, even score Raheem. on me right now. See what I, you try to fake me this way. I did that. Why did I do that? Dude, you, you couldn't even do. You couldn't even score on me right now. This boy is he, nah. dog. He is I'm drunk off you. his no, own wine. I'm not lying. You, he's drunk off his own wine. Bro, it's dog. It's hand eye coordination. Then they give you these big ass gloves. That's extra hand. That's extra. You know what I mean? Dog, I'm telling you, that's all it is. I hope the soccer ball hit him dead in the face. Y'all try body language and bloody nose. You think I'm going this way? You hit that way. He just got blood just doing this on his face. That's what I'm hoping happens. I see. You guys gotta set this up, right? Take a man, couple I'm, shots. I'm, I'm, I'm with you, Radio Raheem. Man, I'm telling you, you guys. I'm let me know whenever. I'm here, man. Five I shots. Got, How many think you making on I got five shots? Depends on where you shoot it. All do you of them. Penalty kick and do you Raheem, want... all of them. Penalty kick, just like they do in if the game. It, if they do a penalty kick, nah. You're not, uh, you I probably, got, you probably say one. Right? I'm gonna be honest. You probably say one. What? You probably say one. Don't even. Don't even. Don't even give him that. Are you serious? You probably say one. Yeah. Just one. Just one. Add that. If he guesses right. If he guesses right. Guess. Even if he guesses right, I don't know. Like he ain't gonna stop. First of all, I don't. I don't know. Like you might make one. It's like it's like it's like Tom Brady from 12 yards out throwing a bullet. Are you gonna say like? He can't. No, no, it's not. It's not as fast. How you gonna catch a soccer ball? He can catch a football. Yeah. He gave you. Nah, he's not even fighting. You're leading the witness. You know he did. He did. You know he did. He didn't want to even buy that. I had to lead him to that one. He didn't buy that. I had to lead him to that one. He didn't buy that lame ass. What you trying to do? But for real, out of five. I'm stopping you three out of five. Wow, that is crazy. I'm stopping you. If you stopping me three out of five, why are you I not playing right now? I know, that's what, what I'm saying. I want to try to, I want to see if I can do it. I, because if it. I stop you three out of five, I'm getting him as an agent. I'm signing right him. away. Yeah. Kevin Wine, that's best agent in the business. Sign him up. You want to see in LA? Sign T up. You want to see in LA? Yeah. 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 I want to work with your coach. Where else would you go now if you couldn't go to LA in America? Where else would you go? But team wise. You don't even know the team. Toronto? It's all the major cities in Manchester in United. That's not America. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to go. I want to be international. I'm trying to spread in my wings, dog. What? And that's it right here. Get your popcorn ready podcast. We have our guy Raheem the Dream. Thank you for coming out, man. Appreciate it. We're gonna stop you though.